Hi Aquarius, my name is Chandler. This is your August 2018, cannot believe I'm saying that, uh, general reading. This is for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Aquarians as well as Venus, or for those of you who are watching, uh, for a Aquarian you know, you are welcome here too as well. This will hopefully resonate with you. I'm Chandler Christine. I love Aquarians. They are so needed in this earth time right now. Whew. What would we be without Aquarians? Really scary question to ask. I love you guys. I know you've been working hard. I know that you've been going through some major shifts. We all have. You know, the thing about Aquarians that I love but I wish didn't happen so often was their ability to take on energy of others um, that really depletes their own. In a way, you know, maybe that's why they become so fixed or stagnated along their journey because they allow the energetic properties of others to kind of seep into their path or seep into uh, their their perspective and picture and it influences them heavily at times um, and what I'm getting right now is there may be some of you who are really taking on too much of the external energy especially if you resonate with being an empath light worker or energy worker um, I sense that this this month is specifically in July has been very psychically oriented it's been very uh, ethereal uh, vibrational and um, you know in a psychic way there have been connections that have become very clear to those who are energy working or working on their, uh, their chakras you know getting downloads and kundalini experiences that's that's a, of a, a heightened manner recently and um, you know those connections that we've shared or the energetic ties that we have to others are going to become acutely clear and I see a lot of you needing to uh, firmly protect your energy and firmly uh, express yourself in, in an open, honest, and loving way almost at all times, right? If you don't have anything loving to say, don't say it at all um, because at this time you just need to be really focused on the self-love and the healing um, and other things will come into your life to distract you or deplete your energy and really that's the task at hand to keep your eye on the goal in your mind's eye you know visualize exactly what you want out of this situation um, I always do that I have such a, a habit of doing that to really just visualize me succeeding or being present and, and winning or you know whatever it may be uh, because I really truly feel that you know when you get in that space you can make that happen you just have to memorize the situation in order to really deliver it when it comes does that make sense so you know I see you guys really needing to take action in the month of August especially because July has been so contrasting right with the eclipses especially the solar eclipse and the lunar eclipse on the 27th um, Towards the end of the month of July, we're going to be getting this really strong influx of feminine energy. Uh, but then again, we have this solar influence still on the horizon, right? Manifesting things in our life that, um, you know, have been for us the whole time, yet we've deprived ourselves or cut ourselves off from seeing it, not allowing that to become our reality. And that's what really is becoming clear. But also, you know, it on top of that and all around it is going to be these connections that you've held um, and maybe still hold with others that really need to come clean, cut, you know, leave it in the past. Uh, that's really what you need to let go in order to welcome what the new is bringing uh, toward you with this solar energy. And then your divine feminine coming in with the lunar energy is really going to need you to be open and allowing to this as well. So that's a whole other dynamic. You know, that's not so action oriented. That's more, um, you know, patient and, uh, present, you know, energy. Anyways, Aquarius, I don't know where that came from. Normally I don't do that kind of rambling. So those of you who have been like, okay, where's the cards? Uh, here they are. Oh, 
speaking of kundalini rising energy, I'm really getting that for you guys. Um, I got a download, Destiny in Reverse. I got a download yesterday in the car, and it just made me cry. I was just so grateful and thankful for all the energy workers and the light workers out there who have helped support my energy in times where I was deprived of self-love and I could not feel. Um, you know, that is somewhat of a dark night of the soul in, in essence. And I think at times we kind of revert back to those feelings to revisit them um, and to heal them. And what your guides are distinctly saying within this reading is this is on a, on a path of destiny. You are on your path to destiny, to your fulfillment, um, to reach those highest goals that your soul had contracted you to be here and now to fulfill. Uh, it's this grander and broader perspective here, but uh, you know, with destiny in reverse, we can see that this may be may be coming to you in an uncomfortable manner. You know, contrast is the you know learning curve in this world that we live in. So welcome it embrace it the youth queen of air and the nine of earth so really interesting uh you know these came out somewhat separately the youth landing right in front of me just wanted to look at me and talk with me and you know uh let me know what's coming up for aquarians so those of you who have been on a journey right those of you who have really wanted to either move or embark uh, on life in a new way uh, there's been such a period of stagnation and maybe waiting that this is really going to make you feel exuberant and elated and happy to move forward. But there's a certain humility as well as you do because what you're now embarking on is something, um, it's something very new to you. You know, and what I've been saying in the past months has often related to a career choice. Uh, some, some of you have been going into law or, uh, you know, moving and doing something in marketing in, a, in an entirely different country. You know, those things have been coming up uh, in your life to, you know, further clarify where you actually want to go. And you have to kind of take this stance um, as the youth, as not really being experienced in this area of life, but but being willing to to make the journey ahead. You know, it's almost wanting to prove yourself. You guys might be headed into some very different and difficult territories where, you know, your skill level is going to be tested. And this is a really good sign that you will actually be uh, very skilled, you know, you will uh, be very brave, you will handle things very um, wisely, you know, and you will be patient in the process. This is not, you know, a, a race, it's a marathon. And where you start off is in a really sweet spot because you are the youth and you understand that there's all this experience ahead of you. And it's almost this uh, gratefulness to have your health, your, uh, you know, sunny disposition, uh, a little bit of enthusiasm and the strength to get you where you want to go. The queen of air, okay, so you guys could be involved with an air sign, right? But but if it's not someone that you know, it could be that there's this influence in your life that realizes you've been having control over things that not don't need your control. They're non-issues. Um, but, you know, un... un maybe subconsciously, right? This is maybe even a shadow aspect that's coming up to the surface in order to be healed and clarified, but there's been this sense of control that is very much associated with uh, the divine feminine that is needing to be relinquished in the month of eight, uh, uh, August. I almost said April. Um, you know, the number eight, you know, it, it oftentimes means karma because what we do with the with and number eight is we we reap karma, we realize karma, we shift, we uh, play and and we experience, and it's very action oriented. Um, but then again, it's also balancing spirit and matter. And so what you realize is through this control, you've been holding back or blocking the realization, the manifestations, the the abundance that have been yours all along. Because you've been somewhat under a guise, and it's polarizing this for you this month. And I feel very strongly like there's this recognition, there's this realization that is so empowering. Um, because it's, it's strength with being connected to the infinite abundance. Um, 
but it's also in a very different way of being vulnerable enough, vulnerable enough to give and receive without fear. You know, I've read something recently that was saying it's physically impossible for your body to feel fear and anger when in the mindset of gratitude, right? When in the feeling of gratitude. They are so polarizing that they extinguish each other. And, you know, in between, uh, if you literally go from fear to gratitude, is a, a, some sort of a peace. And it's this month that that is the action you're taking. You are taking a peaceful stance. You are taking um, this discord and turning it into harmony in such a beautiful and intellectual way. My hat's off to you. Because it's in the way that you realize this, this intellectual energy, this very polarizing clarity that comes to you that allows you to release yourself from certain thought patterns and, and habits and uh, negative negative energies that, that have really just kind of been clinging on to you. And once you realize this, you let it all go. Uh, you know, I'm... With the nine of earth, we see that you give yourself compassion, okay? And that's first and foremost, because on the journey of the youth, we see um, you needing to have a little humility and compassion with yourself. And these people, you know, if they were androgynous, right, um, you know, the youth can be a female or male, uh, we can see that they're almost an evolution of one or the other, right? The The youth embarking on a journey and the nine of earth uh, ending one, right? Closing one, closure is very much associated with the nine of earth. So there's something, you know, that you are putting to an end um, and it's not necessarily the tower moment. It's not necessarily the um, a, a nine in the way that you're having to close a door and a relationship or, you know, separate yourself anymore. It's an ending to the separation, it's an ending to um, where you've been hiding within yourself. You're opening yourself up to not only the love of yourself, but love of others. And Aquarius, I love to see this energy for you because you are the humanitarian. You know, that's what you came here to exemplify. That's what you came here to really embody in this life. And if we go all the way back to destiny, we see that you know you are not quite here yet. But you will be. Okay. Any clarity for destiny? I know some of you are saying, please, Chandler, clarify that destiny card. All right. One flew out of the coop. Ace of Swords. I picked it up upside down, so it actually came up upright, but it's Ace of Swords. I mean, how much more validation do we need? Whether, you know, regardless of how this comes up in your reading, this is symbolizing a huge intellectual breakthrough. I mean, it's as if this, you know, god or goddess is raising this sword and crown, you know, up above Mount Olympus. There's a connection here with God source. There is a connection here with your divine right to your own humanity. And it's just in the beginning stages. It's like this idea that comes to you, this inspiration that comes to you that gives you this beautiful sword draped in gemstones and gold. And it's serious. Ten of Wands. Okay. Let's look at this card upright. <sighs> He's carrying his wands up this steep, sidewalk of stairs, right? Doesn't get much harder than that. There's no escalator in this land. And he's carrying these very heavy weighted wands, your passions, your creation, your sexual energy, um, you know, that which you hold back, you know, unintendedly. Maybe you've been reserving your energy. Maybe you've been um, quietly working on some things, you know, diligently working. And you're actually working yourself to this tower moment. You, you're going to climb this mountain with all of your wands in your hand, trying to balance and maintain and, uh, you know, keep the pace all the way up to your own tower moment. 
congratulations, actually, because this is exactly what you want. You're moving toward this ending. You are moving toward this closure. Can we clarify the youth? Ooh, the Empress. <gasps> the Emperor. Ooh, did you guys just get chills? I did. Really cool. Okay, what are the odds? I don't even know. There's some mathematician or somebody way better at math than I am out there who could say, you know, some decimal or whatever percentage. This this is pretty odd, right? How often does this happen for you, Aquarius? The emperor and the empress, okay? Um, the energy that these two have is, is really unique. It's really powerful. Um, it's really undeniable. For those of you who are going through a relationship transformation, this is clearly telling me that there's no more separation needed, okay? Uh, that is not useful at this time. Unity, you guys will be seeing eye to eye. Um, you will be supported by each other in, in different ways, you know, but they will be highly respected and valued. Uh, these people do not F around, you know? Like, this is some serious business. This is sole con contract business. And with the youth, you actually could be leaving home. <laughs> you know, you could be leaving uh, an arena that either demands you, your attention or energy, or has um, obtained you, right, or uh, confined you in some way for a very long time. And recently, you know, with this new knowledge, and maybe in the month of August, you're leaving this. You are leaving this control behind, but it's not in the, in the worst way that this has served you, right? The emperor and the empress, this looks like a very comfortable life. This looks like it would be the easy way to stay. You know, and with the Empress, we get this very luxurious, feminine, uh, sexual, powerful energy. And with the Emperor, we see that he is in his power. He needed not uh, prove himself to anyone for, for what he holds is, is, is very important and powerful knowledge, right? Able to manifest uh, anything he wants. See, all the elements are around him. You know, he's unified. He is unified. And the Empress, you know, she gives life to this potential. So when we see what the Empress's uh, job is, she brings forth life, right? She nurtures. She is the universe. She is the cosmos. She is the open-ended circle. Um, you know, she she embodies the divine feminine, okay? And, and in this picture, I'm not sure... Uh, you know, the artist wouldn't probably have incorporated this, but generally she, she's pregnant, right? She's, or she's very abundant and fertile. The emperor, he's, um, you know, he's somewhat of the next step of ascension, right? As long as you know what you want to create and that you have the potential to create it, then this is the moment to show what you actually have. You know, what, what really you've learned during this time, what really you've gained uh, through this experience of creating your own reality, now what do you do with it? You know, and it's this call to action um, that you guys have been getting. Very, very interesting. Let's clarify the Queen of Air. Prince of Swords, Seven of Wands, and the Moon. Okay. Prince of Swords, Seven Wands, and the Moon. So what we see is the Prince of Swords coming first. This carries a lot of momentum. All right, this is the contrasting energy that we've been talking about. With this Swords energy, you're getting rapid clarity. Okay, in intellectual um, downloads, you know, understanding that is very full, you know, and useful, right? But it comes to you in the way of, of challenge, right? It challenges you to start seeing the world through these eyes, to start seeing the world through um, what you've learned. Uh, and it, it is very demanding because in the ways of, that you learn it, it cannot be unlearned, you know, it's, it's, it's here, Right, and it's this new truth that is very important to you uh, moving forward. But you're, it's beginning, right? It's beginning again. And with the Queen of Air, we see the Prince of Swords. Maybe um, there's some of you who are wanting to be single. 
you know, maybe there's some of you who are really recognizing the power that you have um, in the position you hold. And, uh, you know, whoever you've been involved with, maybe it's uh, a cancer or a water sign because of the moon. Um, you know, you guys are not, it's been very difficult to communicate with this person. You know, it's been very difficult to get your thoughts through to the people who are Im immediately surrounding you, right? If this is a relationship or, you know, I see a lot of you reflecting on your relationships during this month um, and what exactly the people who are immediately surrounding do for you. Are they giving you energy or are they taking your energy? That's going to be a huge thing. Okay, and with the seven of wands in reverse, this is my this is actually a good thing because it might suggest you've made a decision, right? There there have been many options and through very long time, you know, with the seven relating to July, a lot of these things are very clear to you of, of how exactly you've been holding yourself back because do not be fooled. Indecision is a decision. And in your relationships, close encounters. Uh, you know, very intimate, uh, detailed, uh, meaningful relationships that you've held in the past or with the people immediately surrounding you, um, you're going to have to make a choice. You're going to have to make a decision and you're going to have to express this. And when you express this, um, I'm not sure it will be a very comfortable situation, but it will prove to be very useful in the long run because what this actually does is puts momentum, puts motion into this ace of, ace of swords, this destiny, uh, this emperor and empress moment, the youth uh, and prince of, of swords, meaning that you're moving forward into something and it's actually aligning you very closely with your destiny and all of the energies involved uh, in this next phase of your life. However, the moon could be relating to the moon in the end of July because I'm recording this as it is July and, and towards the end of July. So where you can expect this download to occur is maybe right around that eclipse, okay? Right around that energy. Uh, comes to you very mentally, but it's, it's wishing to be seated. It's wishing to uh, at least be recognized or acknowledged. Um, and don't be afraid if this is a call to action. Uh, you know, you don't need to take action right away. I see that this might need to stew. You might need to actually really think about where this journey is going to be taking you. As the youth, there's a bit of preparation involved in that. Okay, so know that as these downloads, as these uh, just synchronicities fall into place, you're going to be learning a lot, but it... it, it proves to be very beneficial if you know the course of action before taking it, of course. But then again, it may come to you as somewhat of a tower moment. You know, it's not necessarily a crash or a crumble, um, but it's an inevitable conclusion for some of you. So the nine, the nine of earth, and the sun. What was I saying in the very beginning of the video? You know, this solar eclipse is working in tandem with this lunar eclipse, just making it so possible for us to, again, love ourselves, feel safe within our bodies, feel safe within our minds. The light workers and gatekeepers and energy workers um, that have been holding that energy for us here on Earth, making it available to us, have been so important, um, so vital. To, to our spiritual growth, to our uh, life purpose, you know, our soul's mission, that this is truly coming to fruition now. Like, wh whoever has been in the game, uh, you know, this far is now seeing all of what we've done has accumulatively made it possible to get back to this self-love and compassion, this consciousness, this consideration, this nurturing, um, this uh, blossoming, this sensual sexual safety um, that you, Aquarians, will be on the forefront of receiving because you are the humanitarian. You bring in certain um, <laughs> energies that... Uh, are not necessarily the most socially accepted a lot of the time. So it takes this illuminary personality to uh, embody it before the rest of us catch on sometimes. And I'm totally willing to give you that credit. That's something that no other sign does quite as well as you. Um, so, you know, <sighs> Aquarius, I, 
I really feel like the sun is just saying, you're going to get everything you want. This is exactly the warmth within your heart that has been so deprived. This is exactly the safety and security in your life that you've been committing yourself to feeling without actually naturally feeling it. You've maybe even been fooling yourself into, into thinking this is what you want, but it's not. <laughs> it's not. Okay? So don't be afraid to let go because that is so what the Divine Feminine is asking of you. And that is exactly what this Leo energy, the sun being very Leo, Aries here, um, and Virgo, where, where we see this, this combination of energies making it so that you can have these realizations and enter into Leo season with uh, that strength that is um, very divinely feminine and very... Uh, universal, universally uh, and unconditionally loving. Okay, so wow, this energy reading was really, really fun. Thank you, Aquarians, for always being a guiding light. Um, I love you guys. I'm getting strong emotions, like just, I want to cry, I want to laugh. Uh, emotions. All right, Source, what you got to say? I hope you guys get everything that you want. You know, you've been working really diligently the past few months. This is a great opportunity. Intention and honesty. Wow, very interesting. Okay, from my Spirit Oracle deck, intention and honesty exactly what we've been saying. Let's visualize this for you, Aquarius. Um, you want to manifest something very clear, right? In your future, your guides are clearly coming through with saying, let's visualize this. Let's actually sit down. Let's take this seriously. Um, if your intentions are pure, then you'll realize where all this energy is going is to better benefit you. And, and what else do you want more than that in life? Because you know, in all honesty, we, if we love and heal ourselves, we're able to love and heal others. So let's let's turn our focus back to ourselves this month, right, Aquarius? Um, intention, intention, intention. What is your intention? What are your intentions? Um, do you wish to embark in unity with this other person, right? This couple is very suited for each other. Um, or are there insights that you're getting that are steering you in a different direction? Don't avoid those. The path that is going to make all of these clear for you is exactly that. Some self-love, TLC, nurturing, nurturing and compassion, um, you know, being around children, uh, being kind of wild at this time, you know, not, not necessarily single, right? You don't have to be single to be wild. Um, you know, if you are involved in a relationship, you may be feeling the inclining to just s stretch out a little bit, to get a little bit of space. And I totally implore you to do that, uh, with the intention of balancing, with the intention of love, not hurting or diminishing another, right? Making more space for love, making more space so that you can see very clearly where you're headed um, because the chaos around you is going to want to make it very heavy, depressing, um, stagnant, and uh, uh, foggy, okay? With this light that's coming to you, it literally is an illuminary uh, aspect here, illuminating your life, illuminating the eyes, you know, that you see life within um, with the sun, it's it's hitting you right here, okay? And that's exactly what this intention uh, card is affirming. There, There's this power this month. It's strength um, with a little bit of action, you know, that, that creates this intention, this, this beautiful, useful intention. Honesty, okay? And a lot of you are going to be have to, uh, have to face, you know, recognize come to uh, give effort toward, um, you know, realize this this undeniable truth that you've been, been running from because it's been uncomfortable and uh, it might have been the easiest way, though I think you realize now that the easiest way hasn't benefited you and, and it might have actually just really made things worse. Uh, so in this, in this realization, there's, a, there's this moment of vulnerability um, where receiving is, again, a, um, a possible, possible. Um, 
you know, you can unapologetically radiate yourself this month because coupled with this Leo energy, it's really going to be suiting you to be just unapologetically yourself. And that is exactly why you start to fall in love with yourself again, Aquarius. Um, so whatever you actually do in the month of August, know that this energy is right behind you. And I see a lot of you, you know, needing to take steps in your career path as well. Uh, so if this resonates with a relationship, you know, I feel like it, it, it could very much resonate with that because it is somewhat of a very reflective uh, feminine nature. However, in forms of business, you know, this, this may not be the best time to, uh, you know, be out of your own humility, right? It's, it's time to be humble and be very grateful for certain things before you just either diminish or, uh, you know, leave what was sacred behind, you know. Uh, what else can I say? The Leo energy is going to do its job on you. Love, compassion, and truth will heal the present situation. Be honest with yourself. Discover what it is that you truly desire. Then speak your truth clearly. Always speak with love and compassion and know that the truth will never harm anyone when spoken from a place of love. Do not lose sight of your original intention. Check inside your heart to see if the path you are traveling fits in with your original hopes and aspirations. If not, take action, take control, and steer your life back on course. Bye, Aquarius.